Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this easy in a sewing mask. I'm going to start off with this piece of fabric that used to be part of an apron. It's pretty random, but I love the fabric on it. First, I'm going to be working with eight um, inches high like this and i'm just gonna cut the excess i went back and forth with this mask but i watched a bunch of like youtube uh, diys for this and i pretty much gathered from here and there a lot of people have like some amazing you know tutorials for masks but this is what i did with mine then once i have done that i'm just gonna be folding that like in two parts like this and it's important if you want a somewhat even mask to make sure that it's kind of even so for that i'm going to be doing this and then i'm going to be cutting the excess of that so once i have done that i'm just going to be folding that like this towards me and this is the part that i'm going to be uh, leaving open on this mask and this is why i'm not going to be like sewing anything securing everything with pins and just making sure it's even and then i'm going to be adding a coffee filter just because uh, i want this mask to be pretty but actually work sometimes two layers of fabric is not enough so yeah i'm just going to be measuring how much of that i'm going to be using then i'm going to be placing this inside and then as i mentioned before i ended up cutting um some of it because it was like way too long for my face but yeah i'm going to be adding my pins again and instead of like sewing it i'm just going to be ironing uh the top and the bottom like that so the edges that i folded like stay in place and there's uh, not gonna be movement around it because like it's folded but it's kind of like secure if you want to sew this part or you want to um, you know glue it or whatever you feel like doing to like feel safer just go ahead and do that but because i want to be able to change the filter and just wash this mask i'm just gonna leave it uh, open then for the edges this is what i'm gonna do like folding those parts like this like three times and then i'm going with my e6000 and i'm gonna glue those parts I waited about two or three years, three years, what no, two or three days for my glue to fully dry. And then I'm going to be taking one of those uh, masks that are uh, disposable ones. I've been using these kinds of masks for all these months since March, but I wanted to make something myself because I was getting bored of this like the blue ones but i'm just going to be taking advantage of like the elastic parts and i'm just going to cut those bits and then i'm going to be gluing those bits to my own mask and i just wanted to make this as a reminder to a silver mask i wanted to share how to make this one because it's pretty easy to make but if you end up not liking how i did mine check out other tutorials or you can buy one online if you don't feel like making one but just wear one what the world is going through right now is real and it's not just a flu as a lot of people still think it is this uh not only happens to all folks it has affected a lot of like young people as well but yeah hopefully this was helpful and you liked this and it was easy to follow and yeah please wear a mask if you like this don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and check out more easy diys that i have on my channel subscribe for more let me know what you think of this one and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!